So this is Brian Grimm from Engineering Garage. I'm just doing a quick review of my Modix Big 60 version 3. So I picked this up about July of last year, so in the middle of all the fun of 2020. And I kind of came across this just because I was looking for something with a very big build size. And everything that price-wise I compared to, this thing blew it out of the water. So both in mechanics and having an enclosure versus something fairly simple. So, but some of the things that I've grown to really like, everything sticks extremely well. So, the start of this and probably takes about a day to do. So, and being I'm sitting here in my garage, it's going to get cold since it is January. But, some of the items that I did like compared to a lot of other items or a lot of other printers everything has got high wind rails on both the XY and you could upgrade to the Z but I decided not to on this build but. And <clears throat> so we have the high wind rails that help guide the XY and optional EZ. Right now it's just some guide rods. But you have one in all four corners along with four Z motors. I don't know if you can see that way down there, but they are gear reduction or reduced. And all the cable management has nice cable chains guiding everything. Including down right here. So some of the other things I like, the big aluminum 6 millimeter thick build plates from Alcoa, so here in the States. we got an E3D volcano hot end running a 0.6 millimeter nozzle. Oh, by the way, this is some atomic filament. Neon green UV reactive PET-G, so let's see how this uh, turns out. So far I've had very good success with their filament. So one of the cool things is it's got a duet board on built in. So we get a nice six six inch touch screen. So you don't need a little tiny finger to do this. Which makes it really nice. And also built in Wi Fi. So come right over to your computer and see everything. You can stop it, pause it, do everything that you need to. So I'm building this printer. Mox gives you very detailed instructions along with configuration firmware files. Access to everything is right through Modix themselves. So there's no trying to hop around 30 party websites to try to find everything. And then they also give you links to upgrade parts and also buy direct for your PEI sheet and also a lot of your replacement parts. Now some of the lessons I learned when building this, follow these instructions to the T. Otherwise you're going to have to go back and disassemble some stuff. Another thing, make sure you tighten all your bolts because I was having a Z issue along with an X and I realized I had a couple bolts a little loose. One actually just came loose because the set screw was bad so I had to replace that with a bolt. Overall, this thing's been really flawless. 
over the last six months. Haven't had any issues besides myself trying to run it and keep it going. I did run into one issue though right at the end of last month. I had my blower fan here quit on me in mid print. Not a big deal. Quick replacement. Modix was very keen on getting me one. Once, uh, because of the holidays, it kind of stunk on trying to get through to everybody and shipping. But they were able to get me one within a week. Well, this was a pretty quick and rough review. And hopefully, uh, everybody likes it.